Hola, espero que estés de lo mejor. El día de hoy tendremos una clase muy buena porque aprenderemos 16 frases en inglés súper fáciles y útiles. Este tipo de expresiones puedes utilizarlas en cualquier momento y en cualquier lugar. La clave es que las practiques de manera constante hasta que al igual que en el español, las digas de manera inconsciente y las incorpores a tu propio vocabulario. Imagina en qué tipo de situación y lugar las usarías. En esta clase te pediré que escribas en los comentarios cuál es tu nivel de inglés actualmente ya sea básico, intermedio o avanzado. Una vez dicho esto, y si estás listo para aprender algo nuevo el día de hoy, comencemos con la clase. Nuestra primera frase es... Try me. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Try me, Beyoncé. Mm -hmm. Try me. Try me. I'm hot on high level abstraction. Yes, child's play. Try me. Try me. Esta frase significa ponme a prueba. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando queremos demostrarle a alguien que somos capaces de hacer algo. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Try me, Beyoncé. Mm -hmm. Try me. Try me. I'm hot on high level abstraction. Yes, child's play. Try me. Nuestra segunda frase es... Back me up. Erickson, you gotta back me up. <coughs> Please, back me up here. I wish I could. The one guy I could rely on to back me up. Back me up. Copy, Mace. Back me up here. Back me up. Esta frase significa respáldame. Y en español también puede ser conocida como cúbreme la espalda. Normalmente la usamos cuando le pedimos a alguien que nos proteja de algo o a alguien mientras nosotros estamos haciendo otra cosa. Erickson, you gotta back me up. Please, back me up here. I wish I could. The one guy I could rely on to back me up. Back me up. Copy, Mace. Back me up here. Nuestra tercera frase es... Sooner or later. Keep a room here and uh, I'll be back sooner or later. Walk middle. Sooner or later. Get the squish. Just like grip. Hey, sooner or later, I'll do something with myself and make my mark. Sooner or later, we all lose our balls. Sooner or later, different scares people. Sooner or later. Esta frase significa tarde o temprano. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando algo pasará en algún momento. Ya sea que salga a la luz una verdad o pase algún acontecimiento. Tal vez no sea hoy ni mañana, pero va a pasar. Keep a room here and uh, I'll be back sooner or later. Walk middle, sooner or later. Get the squish, just like grip. Hey, sooner or later, I'll do something with myself and make my mark. Sooner or later, we all lose our balls. Sooner or later, different scares people. Nuestra cuarta frase es... On the fence. He's still on the fence about Roger's chances? He's still on the fence. Well, the crockpot never hit him. Maybe the Red Sox on the fence, we do a draft and trade deal. Not gonna lie, we were on the fence. We went back and forth. Everyone's flipping out about it, but you know I'm still on the fence at best. On the fence. Esta frase significa indeciso. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando dudamos acerca de algo, ya sea porque no sabemos qué elegir o porque tenemos muchas opciones. So he's still on the fence about Roger's chances? He's still on the fence. Well, the crockpot never hit him. Maybe the Red Sox on the fence, we do a draft and trade deal. Not gonna lie, we were on the fence. We went back and forth. Everyone's flipping out about it, but you know I'm still on the fence at best. Nuestra quinta frase es... In one piece. Oh, Reva, cut it out. We made it. Everybody's in one piece. You all right? You in one piece? I didn't expect to find you in one piece. It's good to see you in one piece. Well, at least you're still in one piece. In one piece. Esta frase significa sano y salvo, y en español también se le conoce como en una pieza. Comúnmente lo usamos cuando salimos de una situación que puede ser peligrosa. Oh, Reva, cut it out. We made it. Everybody's in one piece. You all right? You in one piece? I didn't expect to find you in one piece. It's good to see you in one piece. Well, at least you're still in one piece. Nuestra sexta frase es... Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, I'm your deadhead. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, kids. Congratulations. What is this? This will kill me if I don't. Here you go. Here you go. Esta frase significa aquí lo tienes. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando le damos directamente algún objeto a alguien más. Here you go. Yeah, I'm the deadhead. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, kids. Congratulations. This will kill me if I don't. Here you go. Nuestra séptima frase es No spring chicken. No spring chicken, darling. I'm no 
know spring chicken. Spring chicken, but you deserve better than being around. So you're no spring chicken. Freddy, you're no spring chicken, are you? No spring chicken. Esta frase significa no es ningún niño y comúnmente lo usamos de forma negativa cuando queremos expresar que alguien o nosotros mismos ya no somos unos niños y por lo tanto no deberíamos estar actuando como uno. No spring chicken, darling. I'm no spring chicken. Spring chicken, but you deserve better than being around. So you're no spring chicken. Freddy, you're no spring chicken, are you? Nuestra octava frase es Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. Listen, you'll tell me about it later. I love you, Craig. Women. Tell me about it. Sorry. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. Esta frase significa cuéntame. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando creemos que alguien más nos hable acerca de algo que pasó. <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Listen, you'll tell me about it later. I love you, Craig. Women. Tell me about it. Sorry. Yeah, tell me about it. Nuestra novena frase es No hard feelings. Listen, I just want you to know no hard feelings. I just wanted to say I hope there's no hard feelings. No hard feelings, partner? No hard feelings, okay? Forgive and forget. No, no, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. Esta frase significa sin resentimientos. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando pasa alguna situación conflictiva, pero queremos decirle a la otra persona que hagan las paces. Listen, I just want you to know, no hard feelings. I just wanted to say I hope there's no hard feelings. No hard feelings, partner. No hard feelings, okay? Forgive and forget. No, no, no hard feelings. Nuestra décima frase es, I owe you one. All right, I got it. Thanks, man. I owe you one. Hey, for real, one last thing. I owe you one. Just one. I owe you one. I owe you one, buddy. I owe you one. I owe you one. Esta frase significa te debo una. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando alguien te ayuda en algo y le dices que le debes un favor. All right, I got it. Thanks, man. I owe you one. Hey, for real, one last thing. I owe you one. Just one. I owe you one. I owe you one, buddy. I owe you one. Nuestra frase número 11 es rings a bell. But you know, this rings a bell to me. It says it rings a bell, but turned out to be nothing. Greg, Greg, that name rings a bell. It rings a bell? Was there a, a Lord Darlington, some sort of... Blue Star Airlines. Rings a bell somewhere, so what? Rings a bell. Esta frase significa me suena. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando vemos o nos dicen algo que nos recuerda ya haberlo visto o escuchado. But you know, this rings a bell to me. It says it rings a bell, but turned out to be nothing. Greg... Greg, that name rings a bell. It rings a bell? Was there a, a Lord Darlington, some sort of... Blue Star Airlines. It rings a bell somewhere, so what? Nuestra frase número 12 es... Stick with it. Hey. One thing and just stick with it. Stick with it. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna stick with it? <laughs> It's like, let's pick a tone. Let's stick with it. Stick with it! Stick with it! Stick with it. Esta frase significa, sigue con eso. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando alentamos a alguien a continuar haciendo algo que vemos o nos dice. Nuestra frase número 3 es... Give me a break. Oh, Stacy, please, give me a break. Playing kissy face. Give me a break. Mimi, give me a break. You give me a break with this? Give me a break. Give me a break. Esta frase significa dame un descanso. Y comúnmente lo usamos cuando le pedimos a alguien que nos permita dar un respiro de una actividad o algo que nos están diciendo. Oh, Stacy, please, give me a break. Playing kissy face. Give me a break. Mimi, give me a break. You give me a break with this? Give me a break. Nuestra frase número 14 es small potatoes. What's going on with our family right now that is small potatoes? Judge Watkins usually designs these small potatoes to Billy Ray. Radio station is small potatoes. Big heads, small potatoes. Two and a half million small potatoes. Small potatoes. Esta frase, por más rara que parezca, significa algo insignificante. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando pasa algo que no tiene mucha importancia o relevancia. 
going on with our family right now that is small potatoes. Judge Watkins usually assigns his small potatoes to Billy Ray. Radio station is small potatoes. Big heads, small potatoes. Two and a half million small potatoes. Nuestra frase número 15 es Come to light. Sir, some new evidence has come to light. That this should come to light on the very day that Herr Himmler is to visit. What are the random myriad of fucking misdemeanors is going to come to light while you're drawing out in the slammer? Information has come to light. Now I Information, man. New shit has come to light. Come to light. Esta frase significa ser revelado. Y en español también es conocido como salir a la luz. Comúnmente la usamos cuando pasa algo que expone una verdad que nos estaban ocultando. Yeah, well, with all the crazy shit that's going on with our family right now, that is small potatoes. Judge Watkins usually assigns his small potatoes to Billy Ray. Radio station is small potatoes. Big heads, small potatoes. Two and a half million small potatoes. Nuestra frase número 16 es, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Can't help myself. Can't help myself. Can't help myself. <laughs> You know that I can't help myself. I can't help myself, Ryan. I can't help myself. Esta frase significa no puedo evitarlo. Y normalmente lo usamos cuando haces alguna cosa de manera continua y no puedes dejarla de hacerlo. I can't help myself. Can't help myself. I can't help myself. I can't help myself. <laughs> you know that I can't help myself. I can't help myself, Ryan. Eso ha sido todo por la clase el día de hoy. No olvides escribir en los comentarios cuál es tu nivel de inglés. Si te ha gustado la clase, me apoyarías mucho compartiendo con más personas para seguir creciendo en esta gran familia. Sin nada más que decir, muchas gracias por ver y que tengas un excelente día.